Hi guys, it's me Elvison here from the Vlog Academy and today this video is for those of you who are using Final Cut Pro 10 editing and you want to take your editing to the next level but you need a little bit of help from a template to create some more fun and flair. So we're going to have a look at how you can do that. So I'm going to show you how you reach the template, how you download it, install it, and then also how we create a little simple project with it. And I'm going to demonstrate this is in something that is called Envato. Uh, of course, there are loads of places online where you can download music and video footage and also video templates. But I've got a subscription with Envato Elements, and that means I can download as much as I want every month, and I only pay a monthly subscription rather than paying for each music track or template I use so it's really convenient actually. So I'm going to show you that and then how you install it which can be a little bit confusing and then we're going to create a quote. Right, so we are in Envato Elements at the moment and we can see here we have sound effects, we have music, we have stock video and we have video templates and lots of other things. So once you have a look in this uh, tab, video templates, you can see also that you've got a choice between After Effects, Premiere and Apple Motion and things like that. So we are going to go for Final Cut Pro because that's what we're working in today. And here you have loads of templates to choose between and it all depends on what you're after of course. If you're after something corporate or something beautiful for a makeup uh, brand you can find varieties in there. But I'm after a quote so we're going to go up to the top and refine our search and I'm just going to put quote in and see what we get. And we get some quotes and this is what's so cool. So you got two here and I quite like this minimal quote for my brand. I've created some of those uh, similar look in Photoshop before but now I want to make it into a video so it's perfect. So I'm going to go for this and in my case I can just download it and as a subscriber I just click the project and then I add and download. If you're not on a subscription basis in Envato then you just get to the payment details and you pay a one-off fee so that's absolutely fine as well. You probably have to register first but then you can download it and just pay for that specific template or music piece or whatever it is that you are using. So now we download it into the dedicated file space where you want to save it in the project folder or on your drive wherever you want to put that in that's up to you. So once you've downloaded it and you've got it in the place where you can reach it uh, you have a zip folder which needs to be unzipped so that's compressed material in there so you just double click on that and that should open up a blue folder and inside of that blue folder you will see the content. So first we have the clean quote titles and these are the files for, for the template that Final Cut will read into once it's connected. And then you have the font they've used in the example if you actually want to have that specific font uh, which is Bebas Neue. And, but you can use any font you want if you have your own brand font you should use that. And then there's a help folder with a video tutorial which is really great if you need to in help installing it uh, if I'm not doing the job or you could read it in a text document. But then we need to get it into Final Cut and that's where it can get a little bit tricky. So what we need to do is to uh, find the right folder and that is by going to Macintosh HD, so your hard drive basically. <clears throat> and when you're in your hard drive you want to go to Users and in my case it's going to say me Elverson. In your case it's probably going to say something else. <laughs> uh, so find your own folder and then go to Movies. So Movies and in Movies you should hopefully have a dedicated folder called Motion Templates and go to Motion Templates and hopefully it has a subfolder called Titles. 
And if it doesn't exist, then you're going to have to create the paths. And there are lots of tutorials on that. And usually it's the best to either just go to YouTube or to the platform where you're buying your templates so they can tell you exactly how to uh, find the right path for, for your um, program. But we're going to go into temp titles here. And you can see that I've actually created an Envato folder already. So in here, I've got different templates that I've already downloaded. And because I use Envato again and again, it's got its own dedicated folder. So if you go in there, you just drag your folder in there, all of it, and it should be fine to just be dropped in there. So you can see that I've now got three quote, uh, quote folders here. Well, two and a review pack, which I'm going to tell you more about in a minute. But hopefully it should now line up with Final Cut Pro. So let's see what we've got here. We're going to go into our titles. And here we see my folder with Envato uh, templates. And here they are. We can see the quotes here. Hurrah, hurrah, hurrah. So what we're going to do now is a little project and I'm going to show you how to do that. We are going to create a new project. So we are going to call it quote one. And if they're not in there, by the way, I would just start by rebooting Final Cut, just to close it down and open it up again. And often it is in there. And if it still isn't there, then I would go <laughs> for help and uh, start with the platform where you downloaded the project from. And they will hopefully be able to give you advice on how to link up the folders and where to, where to put them. So uh, we've got a new project here called Quote. And what I want to do is I'm just going to add a solid color. So we're going to go and go to generators and solid color. So here's just a solid pink color. And of course, you can use a video clip, you can use a still image, whatever you want. But for simplicity, we're just going to use a plain color today. So unless you knew this already, you can actually change the color of your background here. If you go up, and you just go to colors and I'm actually going to set this a little bit warmer, a bit more apricotty salmon is probably my brand color, darken it a bit. So you can just move around the settings to whatever you want them to be. You can change the color completely here. Uh, but it's always good to have a starting point. So this is probably more along the line of my own brand colors. And we're now going to go back into the Envato quote folder. And I'm going to choose this one because that's very similar to the one I've used to do as a still image with a circle and the quote in the middle. So what we do is we just drag this down above the timeline main clip. And here it is. So we can run this. Et voila. It's easy peasy, isn't it? So I'm actually going to start with shortening my basic color here under so it's the same length as the uh, template. And then this is when the real fun starts. You can actually go in and change your settings here to adjust it to your brand. We're going to start with a quote, which is here. And today's quote is going to be, be happy. That's today's quote. And then we can make it larger. So this is just the normal settings that you're used to from Final Cut. And you can change. So it would be Avenir in my case. And we might make it a bit heavier. And then you can reposition that. And then we can change the color. So you can change all of the colors here. If you don't want white, I'll go to my brand color. So you've got the palette and then we can go through them one at a time and you can choose a your secondary color if you want, which I don't actually really want, but I'm just going to do it so you can see the difference. And we might make this a different green just so you can see. <clears throat> and then you can move these around as well and change the, the, the color and, and size of that as well. So you can go to any font you want there. So there we go. 
And this is how we create and work with the templates. It's really, really straightforward, isn't it? So I'm going to let you go and have a play with that. Have some fun with it. And if you have any questions, of course, put them in the comment box below. Or if you have any other things you want to say, please share. I love to hear from you. I hope this was helpful. And please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any other upcoming videos in the future. And if you want help with going in front of the camera or any other vlog tips, have a look at my online training courses on vlogacademy.com. But I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Thank you.